unbelievable, relieving, rewarding. Um, at the same time, uh, we're not done. Uh, we've, we've got a special group. Uh, we knew there, there, there were going to be challenges. Um, and uh, I felt our group is extremely tough. I feel we're battle tested. I feel we can handle adversity. We can take shots. We can throw shots back. Um, and uh, I'm just proud of our toughness. And I'm, I, I'm proud of uh, uh, what we're going to continue to do. Jason, a lot of highlights today, but we, we obviously have to talk about your bullpen. Can you even begin to describe how gutsy a performance it was, not only today, but throughout this entire series? No, Scam, we'd, we, we'd be here all night. Like, I mean, what those guys did this series and then tonight, I mean, wow. I, I don't know what to say. You know, it's, uh, you know, some guys, it's, they've been overworked. They've been overtaxed. Uh, the medical team getting these guys last night, staying late, working on them, getting here early, working on them. And then man to man, everybody came up and, and said, I'm good. Give me the ball. I'm good. Give me the ball. And, you know, tonight for me was as team oriented as so many guys again contributing. And that's, that's uh, that's who we are, and that's why we're going to continue to keep playing. So, um, no, I, I I can't in a couple sentences sum up how big, clutch, whatever phrases you want to come up with, gutsy, with, you know, with th those bullpen guys. Yeah, um, we know that there's there's more work to do. I can't be, you know, any more clear. Uh, this is a, a step. This is one of the steps to our ultimate goal. So uh, we understand that. And, um, you know, each level, each round gets bigger and bigger. So this is not our biggest uh, celebration. We, uh, we've got a goal. We set out to achieve that goal. And now we've got an opportunity to continue to play for that goal. So that's just kind of where our head's at. Uh, so many guys on this team, including yourself, made big sacrifices and you've been away from your family. How emotional is this moment and also knowing the joy you're bringing the city of San Diego? Yeah, so uh, first on the joy, uh, you know, of the city, uh, you know, just coming out of the game last night and the people around the stadium and hearing the horn and you know, just taking a moment, especially for the players, to share a moment and go around, and acknowledge the the fans that are that that are out around the stadium. That's special. Um, you know, you get so caught up in the game, and you you truly try to stay pitch to pitch. And you know, at the end, you know, uh, I, I was thinking about uh, showing up here on the the days with a group of coaching staff and a group of players where we didn't know we were going to play. I was thinking about Bobby Dickerson and you know, hitting ground balls at 7.30 in the morning and having small groups of guys. I think about, you know, uh, um, it, it's easy to think about all the players and the stuff they've sacrificed. I think about uh, our family members and, uh, you know, wives and children that, you know, are away. And the wives are doing a, a heavy, I guess, a, a lot of the heavy lifting, you know, why we're, we're, we're here. So it, it's, it's more than just the staff and the players. It's, it truly is. Our organization's a family, and we've had so many people uh, that have just sacrificed, you know, and for this opportunity. And, and honestly, you get in these moments and, uh, you know, you, you, you see the guys win, you see them rewarded uh, for their work, and you see the, the, the city, which hopefully when, when I get out of this building, just to maybe take a little bit of that in um, and uh, store it in the, the, the memory bank. It's, it's special. Uh, just how closely did the way this played out uh, track with the sort of out-by-out out plan that you guys mapped out before the game? And then also, how many guys did you have left out there at the end? Like, if this had gotten crazy, who was left? Who was still available? We had, you know, Strom, Ultavia, Zach Davies, Paddock, Richards. I believe they were they, they were left. Um, I mean, there's, you, you know, mathematically, like, there, there, there's so many scenarios that could happen. I mean, I think the one that uh, – and we started looking at it and I said, you know, we got to roll the dice at some point. And, uh, and we had to try to catch lightning in a bottle, just 
you know, obviously we're trying to get the ball to, to Pagan and Palm and Rosie, you know, down at the end. Like, how are you going to do that? And, and what are the matchups? And, and uh, you know, so, you know, rolling the dice in the six with uh, Patino and he answered the bell. And it's, you know, A, we believe in our guys. You're on this team. You're going to get opportunity. You're going to get opportunity to contribute. And so at the end of the day, um, again, believe in the person. Thought he was going to throw strikes. It's explosive stuff. They hadn't seen him yet, you know, where they'd seen, uh, you know, some of our guys two and three times. Uh, so that was kind of the role of the dice. And for that young uh, uh, pitcher to step up and uh, put that zero up when Grisham squeezed that ball, uh, that, that Fowler hit, and for him to come off the mound, I think it gave us even another shot of uh, juice. And, um, you know, it was, it was huge, huge what he did tonight. Uh, it's very exciting, a uh, long time coming, something that we've been working for for a long time this year. Uh, it was exciting in the fashion that we did it, and uh, we're looking forward to this next series. It's nice to uh, be rewarded with the start today. I think I had the easiest job of going back out there and starting, knew exactly who I was facing, um, and I just tried to set the tone for the rest of the guys, uh, tried to lead them in the best way that I could, and Man, they came in behind me, saved my butt, and kicked some butt. So it's icing on the cake, you know, to maybe turn the page on some of the San Diego struggles in the playoffs against the Cardinals, uh, turn the page on, you know, maybe some struggles within the organization, the Blue Padres, and now we're the Brown Padres. Uh, so excited to uh, build some new memories with the new colors.